Hello and welcome to Palmer. This is Luna A, the Shipman 63. 2008 yacht. She's finished in a beautiful pearlescent smoky blue. She's been to the Caribbean this year and she was shipped back in May. She was ashore for a while, being re anti fouled, polished, primped, and ready for sale. Shipmans, if you don't know them that well, they are constructed in carbon, all carbon fibre, using the scrimp and pre preg process. It was a very, very stiff, light and rewarding boat to sail. A lot of form stability in the aft end of the boat. Reaching is a particularly strong point for these yachts, but they do go upwind well. Stability is very high. Now walking forward along the deck, we have the very strong bimini, that's an addition by this current owner. It gives a lot of shade to the cockpit and also a very good, sturdy, strong handhold. You can see there that the spray hood is up as well. Now moving forward onto the foredeck, all flush hatches. The deck, the teak is in excellent condition for this boat. In the anchor locker there we have the rotating carbon anchor arm. The anchor sits in the arm, rotates forward over the bow of the boat and then back when the anchor is pulled up. So the anchor is never hanging from the bow. We also have the second bimini up there you could see which covers the entire aft end of the yacht. Twin spreader carbon rig very light, lots of writing moment for these yachts, the carbon rigging as well. This gives good performance, but also at anchor, there's more stability in the boat and less pitch and roll. Moving back, you can see there on the side of the rig, we've got the two halyard winches for the spinnaker gear. The rest of the controls do come under the tunnels and back into the cockpit where there are the primary push button winches next to the helm. These boats are very, very easy to sail short-handed. You can see in the back there, the passerelle swings round and clicks into place when you're sailing to be an additional cockpit seat across the transom. She's had new upholstery this year in the cockpit, almost matching blue, it's very comfortable. Back through the cockpit there, you've got the engine controls and the chart plotter in the aft end of the cockpit table. It keeps the glare away from the helmsman's eyes while sailing at night, but easily reachable and uh, for the engine and for also for the chart plotter. Diving down below, we're in the saloon now. Big open plan saloon and galley. Saloon table has been upgraded. It does flip out lengthways to give seating for eight with two stools and an L-shaped sofa. After the galley is a small navigational area with a chart plotter and all the yacht systems. You'll see there, there's a hole there. That is where the custom shipment screen will be. It's just being repaired as we speak. The galley is recently refurbished.
The island in the middle holds the electronics for the boat nice and tucked away and dry. And there you see the, the circuit breakers tucked away kitchen island unit. The standard shipman has a chart table where Luna A's navigational area is. Behind there on the standard boat there is a seat for the chart table whereas in Luna A there is a separate heads for the starboard side cabin. So this is one of if not the only shipman 63 with three ensuite cabins. Stepping down forward into the owner's cabin, full width cabin, we have a double berth on the port side, a sofa on the starboard side, and mirror image storage cabinets on both sides forward of that. We have hull windows, two on each side. And a storage unit in the middle of the boat. Plenty of light, nice bright and airy room. And then stepping forward from that into a full width heads and sink unit. With a door into the shower unit forwards of that. So this is now the shower. You can see there the door. These aren't watertight bulkheads, but they're waterproof doors. The shower unit on the right and there's a seat on the port side. As you can see, the boat's beautifully maintained, very clean, very tidy throughout. And then further forwards into the crew cabin, double berth on the starboard side, the heads, and plenty of storage underneath the bottom bunk. Also access through a hatch to the foredeck. Moving on back through the boat, underneath the main saloon, we have tanks, batteries, and some of the yacht systems. This is port side aft. At the moment they're made up as twin berths, but they can be double with their own hull windows. This is the port side heads. Good size heads, your showers, push button toilets, and it's a mirror image, port side and starboard side. Again, you can see there the starboard side cabin, made up as a twin, but can be a double. The whole window is shut at the moment. Mechanically, the boat is incredibly sound. She has a full service before she does any large trip. Last year, she competed in the Ark. So all the systems had a thorough going through before that. And absolutely no problems. The boat completed the Ark, went to the Caribbean for a season, and then shipped back to Parma. So I hope you enjoyed the walk around. You can find all her details on our website or please just do give me a call when you can. Thank you.